you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Icy, our female Arctic wolf, is now... Oh, look at her. Look at her. She was walking across the frozen waterfall here in the snow, and she is getting ready to give birth to her second litter. I am so excited about this. And look at how beautiful this is. Oh, we really have done something amazing building this snowy, icy waterfall, the frozen waterfall. Oh, look at her. And now her family is going to be here to join her. Oh, they're still playing with their little balls. That's so cute. But her family is going to be here to join her as another litter of the second generation of our Arctic wolves here in Ice Ice Outpost, north of Shepherd's Nook Village, are born... Oh, look at the snow stopping all oh, right at the entrance of the caves. The sound of her paws clicking across the caves. Oh, we need to fill these caves with all sorts of really cool rocks so that it really looks a lot more like a naturalistic cave. And now that the pup or pups are about to be born, oh, there we go. Oh, she's off. Oh my gosh, Icy. You weren't even going to waste like two seconds. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Icy has just given birth to her second pup. And the little one is coming straight out. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to see its very first steps. Look at how cute it is. The very first steps of this new little baby emerging from its den with all of the snow and the beautiful pine trees around it. That is amazing. Who do we have here? It's a little boy. Oh, a little boy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to name him. Let's see. We have Icy. We have Moose, which I really love. We've also got Winter. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to name this little guy um, Avalanche, which I know seems a little bit... Or Ava? Actually, maybe we'll save Avalanche for a female name in the future and like a short name of Ava. Who are you, little one? Glacier? He's Glacier. He is definitely Glacier. So this is going to be Glacier. Let's take a look at his genetics. <gasps> He's actually really healthy, you guys. Oh my gosh. Glacier's in the green on everything, which is not something I think any of the rest of the wolf pack is. Let's go ahead and check out, like, Winter. Winter, what are your genes? Because we haven't... Oh, look at that stretch. Oh, good girl. Yeah, Winter is a little bit lower on size and longevity, but she's got the same fertility and she's really healthy. So it's going to be a little bit hard to pick between who we want to carry on the Arctic wolf pack when the time comes. Maybe we'll just have to make two wolf packs. What do you guys think about that? And I love how they love jumping on the waterfall. That really just brings me life. And they're doing really good considering Moose has longevity, but that's it for his genes. Oh, I love watching them jump around. Oh, geez, Moose is like an old, old man right now, too. Hopefully, he and Icy will still be okay. And then, yeah, Icy, like her immunity, fertility, and longevity are all on the low side. She's just a bigger wolf than usual. Oh, she's so beautiful jumping on that frozen waterfall. Oh, you guys, I love this. I love this. I love watching our little winter world expand and really being able to just like grow with the families of animals we have. <gasps> that was so cool! Did you see that? Icy is showing the puppy Glacier how to knock the boxes straight off of the cliffside, which I freaking love. Also, we need to give them some better enrichments because I think they've actually started to become bored of some of them. How do they feel about that dog ball? Has this dog ball ever... We'll have to see if that dog ball has ever had, like, food in it. Oh, look at her jump! How's the puppy gonna manage that? I'm curious. Like, how is the puppy gonna handle this? Are you gonna jump, little guy? I wanna see the puppy jump. Oh, that was so cute! <laughs> that was so ridiculously cute! He tried a little jump. He's gotta figure out how to navigate. There he goes. He can't quite make the big jumps like his family, but he figured out a way down. All right, that's awesome. But all right, so welcome back everyone to the post-Christmas chaos of Shepherd's Nook, where we actually have 
some goats! We actually have the village's prized goats, also known as the albino springbok, that have been at spock, bok, springbok, there we go, that have been added into our little village. And I love them! Look at how cute they are! Oh my gosh, I love the idea that they are actually like goats and not springbok. But they are, they're albino springbok. <gasps> what? Security Godet is pregnant? How did that happen? This is definitely a female. So I think Security Godet was actually pregnant from our stream zoo. And I just didn't notice. That's going to be very exciting. She might have an albino baby, which would be amazing. But we're going to get more security, or excuse me, <clears throat> we're going to be getting more of the village's prized goats in here soon. Uh, and that's actually what we're going to work on today, is we're going to go ahead and try to tidy this area up. I finally managed to get the, they're like little trolls under the bridge. Look at this. It's so cute. But I finally managed to get the pathing working under the bridge. I actually think they released a Planet Zoo update since last time because messing with the terrain is a lot easier in just like two seconds of fiddling with it today than it has been. So I'm hopeful that there's been some kind of update. Oh, this woman looked really happy. Are you really happy to see my security goat? Maybe I'll come back when Zombie Kid Candy Shop is less busy. Uh, I like the view of the doll sheep from here. And what was her current thought? Oh, she wanted more candy and we didn't have candy, but we'll try to provide that candy to her. All right, but we need to take care of these little ones, especially because there is literally a little one coming and Security Godet is feeling really stressed out. So let's see what we can do to make Spring Brock, Brock even, Spring Bok. I need to remember Bok, Bok, like a chicken, Bok. Uh, but we need to see what we can do to make the Spring Bok happy whilst there, the goats. We're just going to call these the goats, okay? Happy in the snowy tundra, which is not their native habitat. Spoilers. All right, so let's see. Social group is still a little low, so we need to get more of them. But let's go ahead and take care of hard shelter, enrichment, terrain. We can take care of all of these things. Uh, let's get hard shelter in here somehow. I wonder if it'd be kind of cute to have them be like the trolls under the bridge down here. That actually sounds freaking adorable. <laughs> So give me just a second because I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out. We're gonna see if we can make them like the happy little trolls under the bridge with some sort of like construction. So let's go habitat. And that's a climbable oh we could do a climbable platform. Then if they wanted to climb on it, they totally could. That would be so cute. Alright, can I do like a little climbable platform? Then they could climb on top of it or they could go under it depending on what they feel like. And would this count as a hard shelter? Like a covered up area? There we go. And we could even put some like little plants. Oh, this is kind of cute. I love the idea that they're like the little billy goats. <gasps> if we have a boy, we totally need to name him Billy Goat. But I love the idea that they're sort of like the little billy goats under the bridge. That's precious. All right, and let's see if we can get the terrain up this way. And we'll unpause in just a second. I just want to see if we can make them... Because this is real life, of course. Uh, you know, our little role play. You can't just pause when you need to see if your billy goats are happy. But... There we go. I think that should make climbable terrain. Yay! That counts as hard shelter! They can have their little spot under the bridge. That is precious. Look, and it is climbable too! That is so cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we need to make it so they can climb on it somehow, because that is just adorable. Uh, let's see, and who's in the box? Blanket, get out of the box. I don't know why you got in the box, but you're being silly, Blanket. Uh, All right, and then let's see if we can make them happy. So they're feeling really stressed right now, distressed and trying to hide. Uh, we should probably give them a little goat house then. Oh, let's actually take one of the little, let's take one of the little alpine buildings. All right, let's look for theme, or excuse me, arctic buildings. And then maybe we can give them like a little hut. That just sounds so cute. Oh, we could give them, <laughs> oh, we could give them a little snow mountain. We could give them a little igloo. That actually seems really, really, really cute. Oh, can I actually do that? All right, let's come in here and then let's actually edit this. Oh my golly gosh, I think I can. Okay, and then we can take off that. No, 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 no. Take off the sign. Okay, this is too cute. I kind of love the idea. 
of having a little igloo for them. All right, we're gonna take the sign off because that's for bears. And this isn't for the three little bears. This is for the little billy goats. Does this count as a potential? All right, unbox animal. All right, does that count as a hard shelter? I think it does. I think it does. And in fact, even though it happens to be an igloo, we're gonna be sneaky friends. And because the temperature is not right for them over here, let's actually come over and put a heater. Cause that's the way they do with real igloos actually, is they have um, like the campfire inside of the igloo and that actually keeps things warm. And it traps the heat inside of the igloo. I remember learning about that when I was younger. All right, let's see what Celsius they need to be at. All right, come here. Come here, totally goat, not springbok, who I love already. Isn't she precious? I love that they're gonna be the little goats under the bridge. And we're gonna have more bridges, actually. Let me go ahead and show you guys. We're gonna have more bridges coming out this way. And we're actually gonna have it leading over to the ice caverns for the wolves that we're going to make. And we're gonna have a little building right here that will sell goat cheese, AKA pizza. So we'll have the pizza hut, but we'll name it like goat cheese hut. And then people can walk across the bridge and through kind of like this little garden, a little goat garden, we'll put a ton of plants around. Maybe we'll put a few mounds uh, of like dirt that the goats can climb up on. And I love this little igloo. And I'm trying to think, with this igloo, could I make it, I, I kind of love the idea like the village kids built, an, like not that you see many kids, but the, the village kids built the igloo for the goats. So we're gonna leave it, but let's see the temperature that they need. All right, come here, friend. Eight to 42 Celsius. All right, then what do we have here? Wait, to 42, holy hot. And you just need, wait, did it say eight? <laughs> So it really just needs like anything warmer than what we currently have, which is fine. All right, and that should do there. And then let's come down. Oh, little cutie, oh my gosh. So it's stress should be going down now. There's a few spots where the temperature is good for it. The terrain is slowly improving as the snow is melting. <gasps> Muffin is about to have a little baby. Oh, we'll go check that out in just a minute. We'll put down another spot. Oh, the guests would probably actually love it if we had more spots where it was just warm because it looks like the guests are quite cold. All right, and then we'll increase that to like 25 Celsius. There we go. And we'll hide those. Oh, look, our little goats under the bridge. Ah, this is so cute. Good job, security goatette. Also, Muffin, Muffin, where's my little alert that Muffin was about to give birth? Hmm. All right, we'll check that out. Oh my gosh, that goat is so cute. Yay, all right, so here we have in our snowy, snowy land, a spot where the security goat should be feeling a little bit happier. They really wanna hide. Uh, let's add some food and toy enrichment, and that should probably help them quite a bit. Oh, that was so cool. Did you see that big jump? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yay, and our guest numbers are up to over 700. Probably the addition of the new wolf pup is what really helped out there, if you ask me. All right, so then we need food and toy enrichment. And let's make sure that these guys are getting fed. Hello? All right. You know what that means, guys. Work zones! Yeah, they're in the work zone, but we're probably gonna need to hire more keepers soon because there's, oh geez, yeah, there's just two. <laughs> and I think that these keepers are gonna start getting really overwhelmed. <gasps> Muffin's had a, yay! Muffin has had a little baby and why are you in a box, Jacob? Get out of the box. So Muffin, wait, did Muffin just have two babies? 0.4. No, we had another baby over here. You guys, we have a little girl who I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to name her, um, we don't have quilt anymore. We don't have blanket anymore, I don't think. I'm gonna name her blanket the second. There we go. Oh, so cute. And then we have a little boy over here who I'm going to name Stitch. Whoops, Stitch, Stitch. There we go. All right, so there, Jacob, congratulations on all the babies. People are clearly admiring them. 
All right, trash is being cleaned up. Why have protesters arrived? For Decca? Because Decca, oh, Decca, you need to be renamed. So Billy, there's security Gotet. And then here's Decca, and she is feeling stressed. So we're gonna try to reduce that stress as much as we can. Um, do we have one-way glass? Because that would be amazing. We don't have one-way glass yet. <gasps> There's so many things that the village, we need a village council area and we need to summon the village together to like research all of these cool things. Oh, by the way, along with the like ice cave and the multiple wolf packs that I want to do, I want to put a snow leopard over here. So I think we're about to have a snow leopard show up hiding in the forest behind the lumberjack's house, which I think is going to be really cool. All right, but let me come down here and Decca, how can I make you happier? So the social or the stress is just happening from feeling like surrounded by people. How is my vet research? Perfect on reindeer. So I want to get Coulter Reliana researching the uh, <coughs> goats, not spring rock. <coughs> and then let's also see mechanic research. Lumberjack Nikki, I'm going to get to researching barriers so that we can start putting down the one-way glass, which will really make animals like the snow leopard that we're going to add in, and apparently our spring rock slash goats happier. Imagine a little train that could go through this whole area. I didn't even think about that, but we should definitely have a train that could go choo-choo across the tundra and just, oh, that would be beautiful. We'd name it the Polar Express. I've never seen that movie, but I know of it, so that's good enough. All right, so let's add in food enrichment and toy enrichment, and I'm sure that'll help out our little goats as well. All right, habitat. Then we want species, springbok. There we go. There we goat, you might say. And then enrichment items and blueprints off. I wish blueprints off was default, but that's okay. <gasps> Security Godad is about to have her baby. Oh, geez. Let's get the graze ball feeder over here because that sounds amazing. And let's get the herb enrichment item over here and we'll we'll work on the rest later. All right, is that enough? They need one more toy, grab ball. Grab ball is just adorable. Oh no, security go tent. You ended up being boxed up for no good reason, just as you're about to give birth to what I hope will be Billy Goat. I really hope this is gonna be Billy Goat because that would be so cute. Oh, is she gonna play with her toy? <gasps> That's adorable. Oh, security go dead. You're adorable. You look a little shocked, my dear. Not gonna lie. Kind of just hanging that from your lip. That's really impressive. <laughs> All right, her stress is going up because she's around people and she wants more adults in the area, uh, but she is about to give birth. Terrain is fine for now. She likes living with a diverse range of species. <gasps> She just gave birth, you guys, to a little albino baby boy. Oh my gosh, yes. Welcome, Billy. He is not only an albino baby boy, but he is also gold level. You guys, Billy Goat. Welcome, Billy Goat. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was such a cool jump. I love seeing that. I, I hope we can make him jump more often. This is perfect. This is everything I was hoping for with our prized village goats. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, Billy. Let's make the terrain nice and neat for him. Uh, we want a little bit more soil, which is totally understandable. Let's put some soil down along here. Get this terrain nice. Soil inside of the igloo, which I think is pretty hilarious. Uh, and then let's get short grass instead of this long grass, which I'm totally behind as well. There. Oh, I love the bark noise that they make. It's just really cool. Oh, this is so fun. All right, so that's done. They still have enough space. We might, to oh, they love watching them jump. We might need to expand it a little bit uh, if needed. And we do need to add in some plants. So let's add in some plants for them. I'm trying to think maybe a tiny little shed over here would be really nice. I think that would be cute, like to give them a little shed back here. And also it might be nice to give them like these log pieces. 
I've been thinking to help out our lumberjacks so that they're not going to be caught up in having to do so much work with repairing barriers on top of doing all of their research and cool lumberjack work. We might replace some of the barriers with these indestructible logs harvested from only the toughest and the best of the trees surrounding Shepherd's Nook. So I like the idea that we can come in and just say that these are like indestructible logs that have been discovered. And then we can edit the barrier over here and replace all of this with the null barrier that requires no upkeep. <gasps> Icy's about to die of old age! No! Icy girl! Icy, no! All oh, with the melting waterfall right behind her. Icy! You just got here! No, my dear! <gasps> Not only did she die, that was like instantaneous! Like, her pup is still. No, that's too sad! That is too sad. Oh, you guys. Oh, the cycle of life continues here inside of our little wolf packs valley. We need to add in one of these also important and beautiful little cave monuments that will spread around. No, Winter, don't interbreed. Don't interbreed with your dad. Stop. She's now been identified as the alpha and is trying to interbreed with her father. Oh, no. Was I fast enough? Was I fast enough with that? Because that shouldn't happen, I hope. Oh, she's pregnant. I took it off because I figured because I forgot to put her on, I would go ahead and do it. Well, this is the wolf pack's expanding, just not in the direction that I was hoping for. Hmm, that's a little awkward. I mean, on the one hand, at least Moose is going to be able to have, like, one last litter before he dies of old age at 17. But still, uh, okay. Drama inside of our our little Arctic zone for our wolves, that's for sure. Uh, let's come over here. I see! Oh, I'm gonna miss her. She was definitely- she was Snow Wolf Legacy. And she really was Generation 1. I, I kind of want a way to keep track of that. So if they're Generation 1, I'll put a 1. Moose is also generation one. And then let's copy this. And then, oh, Winter, yours did not save correctly either. Also, yours is kind of cattywampus, so I'm gonna replace that. And then this is going to be generation two. I guess this next one would be 2.5 because of interbreeding. How embarrassing. I did take off the contraceptives even though I flipped it on real quick because I felt like because I forgot to set that with her, I should have to face the consequences of if she did have a successful interbreeding and she did. So we're going to face those consequences. Hopefully the pups won't be too sickly. I'm almost tempted to like have Winter move out, but her brother is so healthy. I could see him taking over a new mountain in Ice Ice Outpost better. This is fun. I love watching the animals just organically grow. But anyway, let's have a winter over here. And then let's go ahead and duplicate. Is this the, the fixed one? Yeah, fixed enough. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and have a little glacier who is now being raised by his sister as well. And they are both generation two. There we go. All right. Well, at least we have some of the ice caves worked on, and I guess we're having a wolf pup. Not quite the plan that I was hoping for, but there you have it. Let's also raise the price on these here tickets again. I'm going to risk trying $10 now. Um, mechanic research is complete. Yay! On the Africa theme! Good job, dock worker Chris. Very proud. And then we have got a little bit of Springbok. A little bit researched, which is good, because we should have a little sign about them, of course. Also, I might move things around so that people can, like, come and look into this this area a little easier. It's so fun doing this, guys. I love this. I love building our little village. Because it's more than, like, a zoo. This is a village, a home for people that we care about and animals that we care about. And let's have maybe an information spot for them right here. And then turn it so that people can come learn about the village's prized goats. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> Alright, get rid of that one. And we're going to have the prize goats. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, let's get a donation bin over here. In case one would like to donate uh, for the sake of the village's prized goats. Who will soon hopefully have... Let's just put this like smack dab in the middle for now. Who will hopefully soon have more to see and a little stand selling some goat cheese over here. Whew. All right, guys. Well, we have a billy goat. We have a newborn wolf. We have more wolf pups on the way. And our village is expanding. I think next time we're going to have to add in a few more workers. Some good lumberjacks so that we can keep the barriers repaired and cut down more of these fantastic trees in our currently non-existent forest. <laughs> So that we'll be able to uh, not have to even worry about the barrier. I'm so happy we have these logs now. That I'm going to use these as like barriers in all, every single zoo that we ever make, I swear. And then uh, we're going to start expanding a little bit more and figuring out what to add in. I want to make sure the reindeer are happy. I might want to start getting a few of them prepped to go into some sort of far migratory area. I want to try getting in some wild herds of goats, or excuse me, sheep over here. I want to get a snow leopard in here. I still need to add in... Oh, we could add in like a little grizzly bear somewhere. That would be really cool. And our polar bear. We're going to have a whole nother village. It's going to be our little fishing village. Oh, geez. And I think next time we're going to be back with even more wolf pups. Oh, my gosh. So, all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Ice Ice Outpost and its flourishing little village of Shepherd's Nook. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!